subscribe to the Danny Houston Podcast, man. This is amazing. Y'all in middle school, you walking through the middle school blowing. Yes. Y'all shooting at the middle school. Yeah, we were. Yeah, they hit the seat was. Y'all boys, y'all was something else, man. Okay, how do y'all even, how do y'all transition into this? Or it was just more so like the lifestyle, because y'all in South Acres in was, the 80s, in that was, era. It like, was the streets, man. It, it was the streets. You know, you know, South Acres in the 80s got bad. Tell me, tell me about it. But man, around 87, 86, when crack cocaine came into the game. That's the earliest you remember kind of seeing it around 86? 86. What crack cocaine did to the community, the ramifications are still very, very, very prevalent today. Crack cocaine destroyed more than just the users. Crack cocaine destroyed families, took the lives of so many strong, dynamic, productive, beautiful young black men. Crack cocaine destroyed them too, and they all were not users. A lot of these brothers was hustlers. You know, it got so bad when we got to uh, the ninth grade I'll never forget this. Ninth grade year, it's a place called Scott Plaza. Mm-hmm. Right behind where we were school. Mm-hmm. Scott Plaza was the Wall Street of Houston for crack cocaine. And we used to leave. I'm being honest. We would leave around the first period and go to Scott Plaza with a little baggie of crack rocks and we would come back by lunchtime with three, four thousand dollars. This was ninth grade. I remember. How do you even get put on though? Like, how do you get into the game? Like, okay, this is my first set of rocks, and I'm gonna like. Well, how Scarface do you even... told that truth when he started talking about Floyd, put him in the game. <laughs> but um, my cousin, okay. my cousin uh, Floyd, surrounded see, by see the big cats. Yeah. The big cats that that time was cousin Floyd. Cat named Poopy, uh, dude named Wayne Jefferson. Is Smitty around at this time? Mm-hmm. Wayne Jefferson was really the top. And the cats who really brought it in to them was Johnny Binder, Johnny Hickman, and Smitty was under them. So Smitty, you know, Smitty was a different caliber type cat. Is he y'all around the same age or he's a little No, older? he's way older than me. He's, old, okay. he's Floyd age. Yeah, yeah. Got at least 10 years on me, I'm sure. But we were youngsters. You know, Quincy knew more about them cats than what I did, because he kind of hung with Floyd more than what I did, and Floyd was always around them. But you know, we would get all the work through them cats. You know, we was young boys in school. And I'll never forget this. It's the honest to God truth. We get out for the Christmas break. You know, you get that two weeks out for the Christmas break. I'm still walking to school. We hustling on the corner, yeah. But I get that two week when that two week break. And I told the bubbles, I said, man, I'm not gonna party, I'm not gonna club. I'm not gonna hang out, man, I'm gonna hustle the whole two weeks. Hmm. Whole two weeks. I had hustled so much we was buying them flippers from Scott Plaza. We was taking them back to South Acres. And we was f- taking the flippers mm-hmm. back to South Acres. And I was re-upping every day. You know, I could, you could take, hell, I started with $100. That's the truth. I started with $100. In two weeks, I went to a dealership and bought a BMW cash. Whoa. In two weeks. Didn't even know how to drive it. Didn't even have a driver's license and had no clue how to drive it. So you're like 14, 15 years old, something like that? Uh-huh, 15. And I remember when I, I remember when I get back to the house, I tell Christopher I got me a BMW. And they're like, damn fool, it's a stick shift. You don't know how to drive a stick shift. <laughs> and Wait, wait, wait. How did you get the car home? Well, hell, I burnt the clutch up getting it home. <laughs> you know, they, they, they wanted my money so bad. They let you go. They just let me go with the car. They gave me a 10-minute crash course. And so I, I think I might have drove all the way home in second gear. But I got the car home. I got the car home. And uh, then at that point, 
the money thing was crazy. I mean, partners like Kerry Moshe, she had Dirty Red and them, was he, he was to heavy doing Dirty Red thing. was heavy, back, yeah, back, yeah, yeah, yeah. And back up in the Hillwood and Cloverland, back up in there, man. And we had chopped up the whole sector, man. Hmm. And um, everybody was having money, everybody. I mean, I would watch Lil Poochie, I'll never forget this. Lil Poochie would buy a whole key. Damn, I mean, maybe, maybe I'm saying too much. <laughs> yeah, we good. This whole business, man. Nobody go to jail for this. But, we good, but, yeah. But he would buy a whole key and cut the whole thing up in rocks. He would take a key. And break the whole thing down. And man. cut if the entire 36 ounces into rocks. Then they got hip to the B12 game. How to maximize it. And all of a sudden, it grew like muscles when you cooked it. <laughs> and he would take that whole key and in a day, in a day. He just sold all the rocks off the key. From Scott Plaza, he would sell the whole damn key and rocks to Scott Plaza. God damn. But it wasn't just him. There was multiple keys being sold in a day in Scott Plaza. That's how crazy Scott Plaza was. Are you even having to say anything, or is it just like, shit, I'm just out here on the block and people want it, so they gonna come holler at me? Brother, it was like a concert out there every day. Hmm. I mean, it was like, it was madness, brother. It was absolute madness. But brothers, at that time, was strictly about the hustle. Strictly about the hustle. And then, shortly after that, came the Jack game. Danny Houston. Danny Houston. Danny Houston. Danny Houston.